What's up guys, this is our person, stands for random person, get out of here zombie, today we are back with another episode of Don't Join If Don't Like Cheat, today, uh, as you could tell, uh, landscaping, uh, I didn't finish, uh, flattening this area, and also, uh, I'm recording this the same day I recorded, uh, episode 6, so, yeah. That welcome to another episode, an episode in two, in probably two days, or probably, like, probably this will be posted the next day, maybe, I don't know, or probably the same day, uh, but maybe, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Well, anyway, today, in today's episode, we're gonna keep, uh, terraforming, and then after that, we're gonna go build my base. So, uh, as you could see, I built a little beacon right here. Which, uh, it, it, it costs a lot of gold, I could tell you. It costed so much gold. And zombie, will you, will you... Get out of here, zombie. What do you want? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna be doing some more terraforming. Even though I dislike the... Like, look at this speed. This is with an unbreaking and mending. Not even any efficiency. I swear this is real. But just look at how much it decimates. For just being a non-efficiency shovel. Zombies! Get out of my way! I've already killed so much of you guys. Also, uh, I had a little incident with a baby zombie. Like, when the baby zombie... Oh my gosh, why is there so much baby zombies? When the baby zombie was gonna... Like, when I killed the baby zombie's, uh... Adult that, uh, the baby zombie was riding. Uh, it started running around trying to ride, like, a zombie or a sheep or something. But then it just stood still. It just stood still like this for like, uh, who knows how long, like five minutes. And it was only until I left game and joined back in did it just, uh, actually start attacking again. I have a screenshot of it, but, uh, I have a screenshot of it that I could show you guys maybe later. Uh, anyway, time to get back to terraforming. Oh, get away. Or probably the screenshot could be the, uh, thumbnail. I'm probably gonna make the screenshot be the thumbnail. What do you guys think? I'm gonna make it be the thumbnail. Oh, die, zombie. Anyway, I'm gonna keep on doing this, and once I'm done, I'm gonna show you guys the completed thing. And there we go. Look at all this land cleared out. It is so good. Look at all this free land we have. Let's just take a minute to admire this and probably wait a little bit for the blocks to despawn. Let's just look at this from afar. Yeah, that's a pretty big space I have there. And now it's time to, uh, actually make this place become a, a base. I say, uh, firstly, I'm gonna need to gather so much blackstone. Like, an unbelievable amount. And I accidentally didn't have any areas here. And I need to eat some bread, so let me do that real quick. And then we'll get to, uh, what I have to do for this. So, we're gonna need lots of blackstone. And also gold. We already have three blocks, so that sh it should be easy to get the rest of the gold. Because uh, I also made a little something that uh, makes smelting gold way easier. Let me show you guys. Feast your eyes upon this. An auto smelter. I put gold here. Wait, let me get to the chest. I put gold here. It all deposits into this furnace. Oh. I ran out of fuel, and then all of that deposits into here, so... It looks like, uh, I missed out on a ton of gold because, uh... I forgot to smelt- I forgot to, uh, refuel the coal, and, uh... I'm not making a, uh, coal-like gener- I'm not making a coal chest, like a, uh, chest reserved for coal. I'm just gonna try and make, like, uh... Both the furnaces are uh, powered on a stack of coal blocks each. That'll take me a little bit, but that will be worth it. But I'm not doing it right now because I have other stuff to do. So for now, I'm just going to mine uh, a little bit of coal up. And then uh, after that, then I'll get to the... Uh, then I'll get to the uh, something else that I was going to make. There, the 59, almost. Just need five more. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. No, wait, that's 60. No, wait, it's right here. And then let's put that in the first stack in here. Second stack in here. Now it's back functioning. 
Now, I'm going to need to get rid of this cobblestone. Uh, probably need to also put the this stuff here so that I have more uh, capacity for my inventory because I'm going to need to gather a whole bunch of blackstone. You do not know how much I need. Uh, well, you, you do need to know. I'm going to need, like, a lot. Because, uh, what I'm planning, really, is making a flat plane. And then, uh, covering, like, filling, uh, the flat plane with blackstone. Making walls. Uh, probably no roof. But then also a nether portal. Uh, and some other stuff. Like, for example, storage. Stuff like that. It's gonna be good. Anyway, let me, uh, I'm almost there. Well, I'm not almost there. One second. Okay, this should be, like, uh, a little bit enough. Semi, uh, I'm gonna try to, uh, set the time to, uh, something that's not, uh, nighttime because mobs can get annoying here. Let me see if I could find three sheep quickly. Can I find three sheep quickly? No, only chickens. When I need sheep the most, they just vanish. Oh, actually, there could be wool, uh, in some of these chests that I, I stored up. There's two wool there, and one wool there. Let's go. And then using these five planks, and this, a bed. Now, I'm only gonna skip night this one time because mobs are annoying. I don't wanna have to deal with mobs, uh, right now. There we go. Also, I set my spawn point. That's pretty sweet. Now, I'm like, oh, oh, I thought I almost did something. What's up, Mark? Anyway, let's jump down here. That barely hurt. Let's go. What's up, Wandering Trader? How you doing? Now, uh, I'm just gonna cut to, uh, when I'm there. Now, now that we're over here again, I'm gonna lay out the basics. We're gonna be putting the entrance right here somewhere. Let's just, uh, lay out the, uh, little area that I'm making with blackstone, uh, just blackstone, uh, one block wall right now, and then I say, be like this, then do this, and like another one of this, and do this again, and then do this again, do this again, I say that, uh, should look pretty cool. And then once we're all the way over here, let me mine this, and then let me shovel that and that and that. Let's see here. This should look pretty nice if I uh, keep the same design as this. Like if I keep on going like this, it should uh, start looking pretty nice because uh, it, it, yeah, it just it looks cool to me. I'll, uh, I'm not gonna cut because I wanna. Let you guys savor in what I have to do in this world. Like, completing tasks. Like, this is, like, similar to completing tasks. So, let me just keep on doing this. Uh, I'll, I'll cut to, uh, when I complete probably the floor. Once, uh, I do all of this. Like, once I, uh, flush out the frame, which is looking actually pretty nice. It should be able to look like some dome of some sort. Except for it's not going to be a dome. It's not going to have a roof even. But it's still going to look pretty nice. Let's it. Let's just keep on building. It. What I'm planning for this to be is... uh, Well, it's, it's, my, it's my base, duh. But what I'm planning it for it to do... Like, benefit me in... Is uh, stuff like... Uh, crafting... Uh, the arts stuff like that and yeah oh we're almost there then you guys don't have to watch this anymore you don't have to watch this lousy blackstone placing there you go guys this is gonna be the frame i say it looks pretty nice honestly not gonna lie now i'm gonna put the entrance right here there we go i say that should be a pretty cool entrance now it's time to shovel all this ground. And it should be pretty sim- Oh wait, there's dirt here. Never mind, it's not gonna be simple anymore because there's dirt. I- I accidentally tried mining with a hoe. That was embarrassing. Well, we're gonna shovel all of this and then we're gonna place down a whole ton of black stone. And I like how there's stone, like, underneath me because then, uh, it'll be easier to not accidentally, like, uh, place down some dirt somewhere. This is cool. Anyway, I'll get to you guys once I'm done. 
Now let's see how much one stack of uh, polished blackstone gets us. So let's see how much. This is, holy frick, this looks nice. I like this block, actually. This block is actually pretty cool looking. Let's see how much all this blackstone gets us uh, in terms of progress. If it doesn't, oh, it, it just does all that. Oh. Flippity dippity. Uh, looks like we're gonna need to, uh, I'm gonna need to probably visit the, uh, island again off camera. I mean, it's, you know, I might as well just mine it with another right hoe and then place it there. Yeah, that looks sweet. Uh, I'm just gonna do this ten more times, okay? Uh, I'm gonna switch, to, I'm gonna get you to you guys once, uh, all this is complete. And there we go! That took way too long. Uh, I had to take a second trip. Uh, this entire thing, except for these slots I'm throwing stuff out. Oh no, not the Illager banner. Because I also encountered an illager while going back. I keep on throwing it out. I keep on. I. I. Ex uh, not accidentally. I encountered a uh, pillager. Uh, a pillager patrol while going to cheat. Uh, to. While going to the island. And, uh. Yeah, that's how I got that banner. And, uh. I had to take a trip to the island to be able to get. Uh, way more blackstone. So. The plan next is to make these walls. And then after that, uh, then we just need to focus on the interior. Because that's basically, uh, what this has, basically that's gonna be the completed, like, out of, the completed structure. Just the interior will need some work. So I say, I need to go take another trip at Chia Island, and I'm just gonna get to you guys once this is done. Look at that thing in the distance. You know what that is? That's my base. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's a giant, it's basically a wall with, I guess, looking, giant looking blocks. Let me just show you the, uh, these walls, look at these walls. Uh, I built those, uh, also I replaced this, uh, bottom bit here with blackstone bricks. Let me show you the inside, yep, it looks like a pretty good inside. I gathered some obsidian, frick. I hate when that happens, when I accidentally place down obsidian, but that's fine. So I'm going to go create another portal. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom. And boom. That's uh, the way actually. Yeah, that's another portal. And the strange thing is I should probably make this like one block taller. Since uh, this nether portal really does not fit in very well. And I don't even have flint and steel to light the portal. So I'm going to need to go over back to the... Uh, the island to be able to get uh myself some more blackstone and also some flint and steel so i could be able to uh make the walls like one block bigger and also i'm gonna decorate the portal a little bit too with uh adding blackstone stairs and then gold and then also i'm gonna decorate the entrance as well with also some gold too so i'm gonna need a... actually how much gold do i have i think i accidentally threw some of my gold away unless i uh it's stored in that chest over there which to be able to check let's just go over there Ooh, now our beacon power is activated let's go uh oh hi chicken how's it going chicken you doing good chicken good 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 oh that pyramid looks menacing in the distance i i really like that i made that pyramid right there that really adds a touch to this place now anyway let's uh get out our pickaxe we're actually wait did i actually i dropped my yeah i dropped my blackstone over there if you're wondering uh, why I had absolutely no blackstone, no, it's not because I play I uh, mined the exact same, uh, good amount of blackstone. That's because, uh, that's because uh, I threw it away thinking I wouldn't need it anymore. But now I do. So let's get out some blackstone stairs, and then actually, what about polished blackstone? Nah, I'm just good. I'm good. And then polished blackstone slabs, and then. Yeah, that should be it. Now we just need to get our gold. Where did our gold go? There's the gold. What's up, gold? I don't think uh, that much gold is enough, so we're going to need to grab this gold and this gold. I think four blocks should be enough. Because we need two for the portal, and then two for the uh, entrance, so that should be good. Now let's go all the way back, because we like wasting our time. Ooh, this takes a while. Ooh, what, who made their farm here? I wonder. 
Also, uh, if you're wondering about that farm over there, not that fishing dock, but the farm, uh, I expanded that farm slightly. Uh, now it gives way more wheat yield, which wheat yield is always very, very good in my part. And there we go. We're at the, oh, now our beacon powers are gone. We only have one beacon to our name right now, but soon we're going to have six or five more, which is going to be nice. Uh, let me get this obsidian. Oh, wait, I forgot, I forgot freaking flint and steel again. I'm stupid. I'm very dumb. Let me just, uh, blackstone stairs. Oh, wow, yeah, that looks good. That looks nice. I really like the blackstone stairs. And then, uh, let's see here. Hmm. And then we get out the stairs. Let's, uh, build up so we could actually do this. Uh, like that. And then slabby. Where's the slab? There's the slab. And then two gold blocks. Slab there. Black st or yeah, blackstone there. And stairs. See, look, now it looks like that. Just like the the island's portal, too. Why do I keep on pulling out the wrong uh, tool to uh, break stuff? Now, that looks nice. Now, did I gather more uh, blackstone bricks? Maybe. Uh, let's just see if we uh, are enough. Let's just see here. Let's place all this stuff down. And I, I won't cut this because this is extremely easy. Might as well add a little roof there. So that, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, they get wrecked. Uh, and then also, let's, uh, let's, uh, craft more of this stuff into some blackstone bricks. And this is gonna take a little bit. Just wait a second. The process takes a little bit. And boom. We have 48 blackstone bricks. That sh a stack in 48, that should be enough, hopefully. I hope it's enough. Because it's only one layer we're doing. Oh, uh, lat- What is with the stupid lag spikes? I hate this. Another- I stop it with the lag spikes. Gosh. That is so annoying. Holy frick. That was the dumbest lag spike I've ever encountered. In my- In all my existence of playing Minecraft. I've never had a lag spike that bad. Or that often. That much lag spikes in one. Well, anyway, let's just place down the rest of these. Make sure not to fall again. And wait. Oh, not you. Not you. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, you better take that fall damage well. Take it and take it good. And now let's just place the rest of these. We should have enough. I hope we have enough. I don't want to have to go all the way back to Chi Island to, just to get a few blackstone bricks. That, that'd suck. Now, let's see. Yeah, we're almost done. This should be good. Unless... No, wait. Oh, hi, Creeper. Yeah. Oh, hi, Skelly. How's it going? Please don't knock me off. I'm just trying to construct a portal. Or, yeah. Const well, construct walls and a portal. So, please... Okay. Uh, the, the, I hate Minecraft. I hate this game. This game is garbage. Uh, do I have any more Blackstone? No. I don't have any more Blackstone. And I should, like, I'm super close to being done. Let me just kill these mobs that are over here, Creeper. You can't go in the portal yet. It's not lit, you dummy. Gosh. Oh, also you, Spider. And you, Creeper, you're also dead. And you, Skelly. Oh, you hit me. Good job. You even hit me twice. That's, like, most than that any other skeleton has able to do. Oh. Quickly place these last ones. I swear if I have to go back for one more blackstone brick. Nope, I have to go back for a few more. Ugh. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. Now I'm deciding to add these pillars over here. Uh, because uh, I, I have an idea. Let me just go and get my crafting table. Get these planks out. Crimson stairs. Get these planks out. Uh, we're... Where'd my crafting recipe for crimson stairs go? And why is there a zombie attacking me? Get wrecked. Uh, more crimson stairs. There we go. This should be enough crimson stairs. Uh, yeah, you explode that guy. Thank you. Uh, put this in like this. Man, I wish I had stairs version of this. Stairs version of the uh, log. There, like that. That looks nice. I like that. 
and then do this. Oh yeah, we have exactly enough uh, stairs. We don't even need extra. We don't need extra and we will not have extra. Now, I think the only thing that's missing is shroom lights. Which we're of course going to need to light the portal for once. Gosh. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to light the portal once so we could go over there and get some shroom lights. But uh, soon there's going to be a regenerable block. Uh, there, soon there's going to be regenerable shroom light blocks, which... Yeah, that would be pretty sweet. And wait, let's go all the way to Chi the island again. This is taking forever. Holy Shrek. Holy Shrek, man. This is so long. I wish I had built my base closer to the island. That would have been so much easier. What is this? Why is there so much zombies here? Jeez. Like they're having a slumber party or something. Except for with a, a child alongside a bunch of adults. That, that's a little strange when they're having a slumber party. In fact, two child. Hmm. Strange, I wonder what they're trying to do here. Hmm. And let me just kill these guys. Boom. Oh, I thought I, I, thought I didn't kill that guy for a second. Anyway, oh, what's up, Creeper? How's it going, dude? Whee! There we go. Now he doesn't exist anymore. Now let's go over here. Let's go back and finally get ourselves a flint and steel. And we're not going to be delaying it. We're just going to get flint and steel. And then that's going to be it. Where is the gravel? There is the gravel. Whee! There's the flint. And then do I have an extra iron ingot? Nope. I don't have any extra iron ingots. Do I check the chest? There are 28 iron ingots. Go over here, crafting table. And boom, flint and steel. Whoo, that took so long. That took so unbelievably long. Now let's put the flint and steel here. No, wait, no, wait. We're bringing it with us. Never mind. Let's put the iron ingots back, I meant. And well, that's now look at that enchanted flint and steel. That looks nice. It looks pretty cool, I'd honestly say. I don't know why they decided to make the the steel part uh look like a c was that just a choice or something or wait huh. uh, is it like a sh is it meant to be like a sharp part or something i have no idea but anyway let's go over there we're almost there our beacon powers has reduced us again and another lag spike another eating and then let's go back over there Oh yeah, I remember I was gonna add, uh, I need to light the portal. And now we light the portal and immediately get in. Whee! Huh? Oh, uh, looks like I spawned right at back at the nether base. That's fine, I guess. Well, it's not a nether base, it's more of just a nether spawn. But yeah, hey, that means I can't, that means I don't have to uh, make my own nether spawn. I mean, my own nether base, that's, that's good. Well, I, I don't have to make my own nether spawn, that's good. Oh, oh, jukes, jukes, that zombified pig one almost hit me, wasn't able to. This guy was able to hit me though, because he has hacks on. You also have hacks on. Anyway, we're going to just gather like one, two singular shroom lights, and they're both single, so womp womp for them. Mine them, and mine them. No one's going to miss them because they're single, so. Well, except for I guess they're friends, but why am I, am I stupid? These... I, I, I can't believe I just rambled about shroom lights being single. That is the most weirdest thing I've ever rambled about. What the frick? Dude, I think you need to get therapy, man. Oh, gas tier. Finally, first of its kind. Give me that thing. I'm crying right now because I got a gas tier. Wait, can I uh, search for any other ghasts? Firstly, oh, get a frick. Now, guests, are you there? Oh, hi, Magma Cube. What's up, man? What are you doing here? This is my uh, third Magma Cube I've killed, I think. Here, I mean, uh, yeah, get wrecked, Skelly. Oh, you too? Okay. Two can play that game. Anyway, let's get back. Uh, I thought I could see a guest, but I guess I can't. Because I think, uh, n like, now that I want a guest, it's just not spawning now. Oh, wow, that's actually very cool fast travel all the way back to Cheat Island. That is cool. Anyway, uh, I think, yeah, I think, uh, now it is time to, uh, what was I gonna do? 
now it is time to uh, go all the way back over there. <sighs> we we've so much traveling, so much traveling. I swear, and we're gonna need to do way more traveling unless I make like a pathway or something like a minecart, uh, a minecart, uh, traveling. System. Or wait a second. The advantage of killing an Ender Dragon is you get to get to the End Isles. And the advantage of getting to the End Isles is you get to find a... What is it? An End City? And then you could get yourself an Elytra. I need... Okay, I'm definitely... I'm good. Next episode, hopefully, I'm going to be uh, convincing my uh, uh, sibling... Well, at least one of my siblings to... Uh, play uh on the don't drop like cheat server i'm gonna make sure to record all of it but no commentary and uh i'm just gonna have the scene of us uh killing the end or of uh us the entire ender dragon fight and i'm gonna be talking about the highlights i guess anyway that is pretty cool now now it is time to do some other stuff okay so i added uh a few new blocks like shroom lights and end stone and that's basically it now uh you know how uh, this took a long time, and now this I'm not getting to it yet. It's because uh, I'm gonna be doing it with uh, my siblings next, doing you know, like electroglyph, some other people maybe. Uh, so I'm gonna need to wait until that happens. So uh, for now, that's just gonna be uh, not there. Same for this one too. Same for this one too. Uh, I guess next make well we're basically at the gold well we're not at the gold tier yet but we could work on stuff in the gold tier. Make Piglin Village, also known as Bad Cookie News. That would be actually pretty fun. Let's actually do that. Uh, first of all, let's put this junk in our chest. Uh, is there anything to even put in our chest? Or is there even any space? There's some space. We need to make sure to keep that gas tier state. Uh, uh, I. We need to keep that gas to your safe so that uh, we could use it later to be able to craft all those end crystals so we could kill the ender dragon so much times. There we go. And then all we need to do is just uh, also uh, put our totem and armor in there. Should I name this totem? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Boom. And now it is time to venture into the nether. Whee! Okay, so this area is like the area I'd most likely make a piglin village. It's near here, but that's fine. So, uh, how this is gonna work is basically right here. Uh, we're gonna clear out a little thingy for, uh, one guy. Uh, also known as, uh, let's just, uh, get him out first. Uh, firstly, netherite. Let's put that in. Boom. And then we're also gonna need to make his little area too. So, let's just, uh, also we'll do this and we should almost be good we should almost be good yeah let's do that uh, oh yeah the roof too the roof needs to also be netherite that would that would look cool there we go and then boom we're also gonna need to let the floor and the wall be netherite too because this is for uh, the first uh bad cookie i know it sounds strange but just bear with me uh i know bad cookie news is like you uh if any of uh, you guys know villager news that's basically basically this is villager news but with piglins and they'll s oh, i keep on actually saying pillager when i think of villager and piglin i think of pillager for some reason anyway uh even though it is a ripoff uh I guess these guys, yeah, it's, it's kind of a ripoff. I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, we're going to do, this is how we're going to do it. Bad cookie. Well, actually, we're going to say bad uppercase cookie number. Where's the, where's the number sign? There's number one. You see, like that. And then all we have to do is just put them there. And boom, has a crossbow there already. And then we just need to armor them up with netherite. Have this netherite helmet, dude. Oh, wait, yeah. Mob griefing's not on. Oh, in fact, what are you shooting at? Oh. Oh, yeah, a hog one. Nice. 
Anyway, uh, I'm gonna throw down netherite armor so that for a second you can get yourself geared up and I need to throw it again. Huh. What the frick? Anyway, then we, uh, where is the mob briefing on? There, now they're fully armored. And then turn it off again. There we go. Now, uh, basically how this thing is gonna go, uh, underneath this guy is gonna be where all the command blocks for the, uh, piglins, also known as bad cookies, are. So we're gonna do this, and like that. There we go. Now, uh, before I continue any longer, I want to tell you the story of, uh, why bad cookie exists, why these bad cookie people exist. It's because of a long time ago when I was, a, a, a little bit of a fan of villager news. So, uh, Electroglyph and I decided to, uh, do this little thing where, uh, we did the same thing but with, uh, piglins and we called it bad cookie news. You, you could see in like one, vi there's one video Henry has, uh, of the bad cookie news thingy. I'm probably going to put in the description. Yeah, I'm definitely putting in this description if I'm able to, uh, you could check it out. Uh, that was basically the origins. And then there was like lots of lore I put in for some reason, like bad cookie. Number one, he had a traumatic backstory. Ha huh. funny. Anyway, this is going to be slash effect. All entities uh slash type equal piglin with regeneration and then we're gonna put it as infinite seconds and it's at number two so this basically and it happens every thousand ticks so basically uh this will affect the piglins with potion effects means that they will never die basically also these guys uh I'm gonna need to find some way to, uh, like, uh, I'm gonna block some stuff off so that the piglins can't escape, and I'm basically gonna make a little village here, which will be kind of fun, so let's get to work. First of all, uh, let's make, let's block off any ways of escaping, and then, yeah, let's block off any ways of escaping. Let's see here, which, how should we do this? We're not gonna allow them to go up here. Yeah, that's just, uh, not possible anymore. Get wrecked. There we go. And then we're also, uh, anywhere that's, like, not like this. Like, we're gonna be doing that. Lair. That's like a wall. Semi. Uh, a semi-wall. And we're gonna be doing this. We're just gonna wall off this, uh, area so that basically no, uh, amount of, uh, doing anything will get them up here. Let's also do this. There, now, uh, I'm gonna quickly hide these command blocks so it looks normal. Now, let's also do that. Yeah, that, that, they can't get up here. They're not gonna be able to get up here. And let's make it look a little bit more natural. I'm probably gonna do it with Crimson Nylium now. Let's see here. Oh, uh, should I allow them to go over here? I mean, I'm not gonna allow to, I'm probably, hmm... Actually, wait, this is like its own boundary on itself because it's a an edge and piglins won't want to uh, get off the edge. But again, that'll make it so it's possible for them to die. So I'm going to quickly get out soul sand and soul soil. Or I'm probably just going to get out soul sand and I'm going to make a little wall here. There we go, like this. This is going to be the wall. Unless uh, I want to make it uh, seem like the piglins put that in. Let me just, uh, I'm, I'm experimenting a ton right now. Uh, blackstone bricks, I'd say? Yeah, blackstone, mm, I'm, I'm, I'm conflicting. Okay, there, there. Well, actually, I don't know why I said conflicting. I don't even think I said the right words. Boom? Yeah, like this. This, we're gonna make a wall like this. And I guess I actually play, did that, so let me just put that one soul soil. It looks a little stuck out, but that's fine and let's do this so they can't get off the edge and basically uh i want to make it so that piglins uh can't leave but players can still enter so uh i'm gonna be making some areas uh only two blocks tall and it looks like i need to make this area three blocks tall but here one second guys one sec now look at these walls 
they're nice. Uh, over here, I uh, added to the blackstone walls, and now they stretch all the way to over here. Let me just remove that. They stretch all the way to over here, and I'm going to prevent uh, piglins from going up here. It's going to be a lot of prevention, but it'll it'll, it'll be good for the... Uh, yeah. It'll be good for uh, the village, because... Uh, it it's gonna be able to stay like itself. They're gonna the piglins are gonna be able to stay in the village, and it's gonna not be so bad. It's gonna get better. Uh, soon I might soon uh I will make uh I will expand the uh piglin place, but except for I'll make it so that uh like I expand through the edges, like through uh let me just finish that. I'll expand through uh right over here. You know, make uh, more crimson uh, nylium areas, and more like just expand the crimson forest like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, and uh, the over time, this is how you get another uh, bad cookie. Let me just show you guys the way of the anvil, and I almost just did something. Let me get out an anvil, let me place it right here, and let me just keep it there. Then I'm basically going to say bad. Oh, no. That is the wrong area. I did not mean to do that. Okay, so what I was saying. You could just number it like that. Boom. And then boom. It's another bad cookie. And then you just do this. What the frick? It's another bad cookie. Holy frick. This is this population is going quick. And another bad cookie. Here, let me just keep on doing this all the way until number two. Number five. Holy frick. Number six. Oh my gosh. I wonder where they're all coming from. Number number seven. Whoa, he's an armored boy. Number eight is not armored. Number nine is not armored either. And number ten. Oh, I actually made two of them. One of them is getting executed. Womp womp. Rick sucks for them. Wee. Let me make sure. Or yeah, this is the tenth one. And then, uh, yeah, basically that's how you get more population. You have to number all of these bad cookies like that. And so let me just, uh, do this so that they can't escape over here. Because that'd be bad. Because then our population would be zero. Well, it'd be one because, uh, it's impossible for bad cookie number one to escape. Boom. Boom. Uh, one second here. And also, wait, ooh, I need to make, uh, the bad, if I don't want the piglins, uh, the bad cookies to die, well, actually, they have regen, never mind. I, I was about to say, but, uh, they might die due to hoglins, so I'm gonna need to do something about that. Let me just, uh, first of all, uh, close these areas off so the bad cookies can't escape. They're probably already over here. Is that one of them? Let me see here. Are you a bad cookie? No, you're... Uh, are you bad? You're bad. You can't. You can't be here. You can't be here. Get over there. Get over there, boy. Get over there, boy. Man, see, they tried to escape quick. Like, this guy is all the way over here, already, and these got. Holy frick! Wait, are these the? Yeah, they're all over here for some reason. I don't know why they're over here. I'm gonna need to make like walls or something here. That's why for now I say I sh I should just uh kill them all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna need to kill you guys because you guys are not ready to embrace life yet. You guys can embrace life later, just like that village in the distance can't embrace life right now. You, Hoglin, you could just stay there because, yeah. You also die. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I spawned you guys in too early. Now. Now that we have population one again, and is this another bad cookie? Is this, no, it's not, but we're gonna kill it anyway. Now, uh, now we could just, like, uh, not worry about the fact that the bad cookies are, uh, trying to escape. And this time we could, uh, try and focus on the future of when they do start. Like, for example, I probably need to put, like, blackstone walls here. Because, uh, if I did, yeah, did, I need to put blackstone walls here real quick. So let me, I think I know how I'm going to work. Yeah, like this. Just need to put a little 2x2. Two two, like this. That's pretty simple, really. 
Now, uh, what do I hope for the future of bad cookie news? Uh, just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably, like, once it becomes modded, I'm gonna give, uh, bad cookie number one a microphone. Because that's usually what reporters have, I think. I don't know. I'm stupid, okay? And I'm not doing this. Actually, wait. That would be better if villagers were instead numbered. Or actually, I could just. Uh, that's. Hmm. I could. Huh, that's strange. I just had a revelation. What? Huh. I think that's. Man, they're smart. They. The villager news people, they decide to have a villager news, not piglin news, because. Because. Of the fact that it you have an advantage when you do villager news when in Minecraft because then they can actually like live there and not run away means that you could more focus on expanding the village than not expanding the village stuff like that that man they're smart what if I did something like that like uh well I'm probably not gonna number villagers I'm probably just gonna name them some stuff. Like, each villager I create, I name them. And if I don't see a villager named, I just get out a name tag and name them. Because then, you'll be more connected to your villagers. You won't want your villagers dying. Stuff like that. And also, hey, who knows? I could probably name some villagers after you guys. Instead of just having them be uh, numbered with an ID or something. Anyway... Uh, I think we're gonna need to cut this episode short because uh, this the stuff I have to work on right now is pretty boring. It's just uh, making boundaries and preventing piglins from going places. Uh, so I'm gonna need to cut short here because this is basically all I'm having to all I am going to be doing for a little bit. So I'm gonna need to go now. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.